Uh, well, I, I'll tell you one thing. I think a good way of um, learning the rules for me anyways, rather than just reading these dry run stuff of like, okay, you know, I'm going to do resource shipping or whatever, is to actually, uh, like I have a real world or a real game uh, situation. I'm trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, figure out. So it's like, okay, I got to start reading up on amph amphibious uh, assaults. And then it was, <clears throat> sorry, I haven't talked in a while. Hold on here. Um, also amphibious uh, lifting capacity and uh, conversion to amphibious um, transport transport points. One thing I am going to say, though, it kind of, I've been looking around and hopefully I'm, it's just that I can't find it. But uh, it, it's just kind of like mentions um, the I already knew right off the bat when I was starting to uh, plan this out. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's pretty far away. Um I was like, that's like nearly, it's not, but pretty close. It's like nearly 200 kilometers away, I think, or something like that. I was like, Jesus. Um, yeah, and I haven't even looked into like, uh, I don't think there's any mines in Dervelt Krieg and all that stuff. But what I'm trying to do here, I'll show you. I'll eventually get to the lift capacity and all that stuff. And it's too late now. I've already committed to the staging area. Um, and the, Or I could say no to the staging area, I guess. And um, I think it takes two months for it to be dismantled and whatever, but I'm going with it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say, yep. Uh, some idiot perhaps um, made the conclusion that it was a. It is a great spot uh, to have a staging area. <laughs> if maybe you're you're in World War II or something where um, amphibious, like the uh, they were saying in the Dervelkrieg rules, because I wouldn't have known. Um, he was saying you got to remember that uh, this isn't World War II. This is World War One. So don't start thinking you, you can do some kind of D-Day operation. That isn't going to happen. But I looked up these towns here, uh, La Masol or something, and Larnarca. Uh, currently, right now, this is the second most populous city, I think, in on Cyprus. And back in the day, uh, the governor uh, here, based on the Wikipedia entries and everything, um, really did a lot of work here. So by the, by World War One time, by the time World War One comes in, uh, this town city or whatever has electricity. It has a printing press, uh, telegraph office, um, uh, museums, uh, hotels, uh, arts, you know, schools, the whole nine yards. In other words, it's got, oh my God. And on a side note, I think, I'm not sure. I have to look it up still. But there's a possibility that the whole nine yards is a slang term for uh, the length of the average belt that carried about 250 bullets for uh, a Vickers machine gun. And so basically what you were saying was give him the full nine yards. Woof. Uh, I have to check that out yet still, but I was like, holy F, that is so cool. Um, anyways, let's get back to this. So anyways, what I'm saying is from a, for, to, to put a staging area, I think this is a great spot. It's just the distance sucks. Uh, basically, for every four hexes, after three hexes, so from, let's say, four to six, I'll show you the little whatevers, um, you start losing, you you start taking a penalty, or uh, the player starts taking a penalty. Um, oh, God damn it. 13 hexes away. This sucks because I go from 60% reduction to 80%, which be means... I think, and this is the thing that pissed me off. I'm going to check again, but it's, I'm going with, so basically what I'm doing is I'm using the Gallipoli scenario rules, specific rules and all that stuff, and everything is a guideline. So all the British and French troops that were involved in the Gallipoli landings are going to be involved in here. So the 29th Infantry Division, uh, the Australian 1st Division, uh, the New Zealand and Australian division, um, the core, uh, I'm not going to say it properly, uh, uh, the expeditionary core, uh, French, uh, the premier, uh, division, first division of them. Uh, even though I think the Duvel Krieg rules mentioned 17th when I looked up the OOB, so maybe that's wrong. Maybe Duvel Krieg's right. And based on his freaking amazing, uh, uh, Easter egg of the tra uh, rail, and maybe uh, that's the case. Anyways, so what I'm trying to do here for the British, yeah, it's kind of cool to have both at once, these strategic uh, thingamabobs. This stuff to pop in the armies and everything for the Ottomans and figure out, it's going to be, this is, that's months away, man, all this stuff. Um, 
you know, so it's going to be a two pronged thing. So I'm going to have the uh, this attack starting first, the offensive towards Gaza from uh, Egypt. And I'd like to start it on the 6th of January, 1915, which is Epiphany or Three Kings Day, which I thought was uh, uh, quite fitting due to the fact that it's like the baptism of Christ and all that stuff. So I thought, OK, that's good. But that's going to happen two weeks prior to uh, the amphibious assault. In other words, I want to use the offensive towards Gaza to direct um, Ottoman attention towards that area. Then, uh, oh my God, with that 80% reduction, Jesus, Murphy, I can already feel it. This is not going well. Um, try to land here and uh, pick three spots. Like I said, I'm using the guidelines for Gallipoli. I think this is a great spot. Especially this. Look at this. I don't know what the hell that is, but obviously it's you know part of a like a a, uh, a town that's not big enough in Der Weltkrieg scale terms to put up. I guess. Anyways, that's what I want to go for. But our main objective is here uh, to to us uh, take this junction, this rail junction, and effectively uh, cut off uh, the Ottoman first and second army. And if things go pear shaped, as in it doesn't work. And I would love to continue on on my way to Derna. If that doesn't work, uh, then we'll just go down south and uh, help support uh, the offensive towards uh, that is already underway in Gaza. Anyways, that's my plan. Uh, I'll take a look. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah. So those are my three spots. They look great, um, as far as I'm concerned. So all the Gallipoli troops historically are actually now being sent uh, to Cyprus and. Uh, during November, December, and January, uh, like 1914 to 1915, they'll be training in Cyprus and uh, getting ready to go uh, here in February. Hold on. So there's the reduction. Uh, and oh my God, I'm at 13 axes. I tried every which way and, and I could, but there's just no effing way around it. Um, so uh, it's going to be 80% reduction which, uh, like I said, I'm going with uh, the Gallipoli, Gallipoli thing. I couldn't find it anywhere of like, how, uh, how is this amphibious lift capacity uh, calculated? Uh, does it change over time uh, according to geographical area? I have no flipping clue yet. I'd like to find out. But I think it's also, uh, it's going to be brutal. I'm, it basically means I can uh, barely bring any strength points across. I think it's just going to be tricky across so if the if the ottomans are able to uh mount something really quick it could be god awful horrible hold on a seat like here it gives you an example uh yeah it, the due to the distance is four hexes they'll suffer a 20 percent in lift capacity there we go uh uses all 50 po points of their lift capacity reducing it to uh at 20 percent they'll have 40 points uh, to convert to amphibious transfer points, and I'm going to be at 80%. Oh man, that sucks. At the and then it's five to one conversion rate that gives the player eight amphibious transfer points, which I think is like uh, strength points or supply points. Uh, and yet again, I will have to take a look. I, this is all new new to me, but uh, at least hold on. And like I said, I'm loving this thing with uh, trying to connect it with like uh, well. I guess what I think it would be the ninth crusade, uh, if you know, if it would happen. I think there was eight before. Like I said, this is all stuff I need to find out about still. Um, yeah, but this is just fantastic. So I'm loving these religious tie-ins and trying to uh, send off the um, the attack toward the offensive towards uh, Gaza uh, on Epiphany. Uh, oddly enough, I think. Um, Epiphany, it was on the same, like on a Wednesday, January 6th as well for 2023. I may be wrong about that. I have to check. But uh, jeepers, that's pretty cool. But uh, 80% uh, chunk of, fi of 50. And then convert it to 5 to 1 to bring in supply and strength points to this. This is going to be rough. Holy Lord, I'm sorry. But uh, maybe, it, maybe it'll be better than uh, Gallipoli. We'll find out. Um, there we go. I'm doing the yeah. Went okay. See ya.